December 19th, 2020, and this video is called Mutant Conjoined Carrot. And this is the first time I've ever done this. I had this video all done, and then when I looked at it, uh, actually I never recorded it. So, instead of showing you the garden where I pulled it out of, I end up dissecting this, and here it is. And what I was going to say in the first original video is that I don't eat anything out of California. I don't trust anything out of California. And Bakersfield is a city where a lot of vegetables are grown that everybody's eating. So I haven't had a carrot in about like nine and a half years. I quit eating anything out of California after Fukushima. And this past year I tried growing some carrots. And this is actually one of the carrots. I grew about 25 of them. And I would have showed you that I pulled them out of the garden. And this is a conjoined one. Look at this sucker. There's two carrots in one here. Although, if you look at it, it looked like it would have been only one. But this is two conjoined carrots. And so what I did is I dis dissected it. And thank God that video was not uh, deleted and it was correctly recorded. So I'll show you the quick five seconds of that, which was actually the end of the original video. And then I've got the dissection. So... Unfortunately, that video is gone. So, look at this guy. I got a couple pictures of this before I dissected it, which is cool. So, there's the dissection. And after this, I'll show you what happened when I dissected it. Which there, it's kind of hard to see, but there it is. There is the two carrots. Alright, here it is. Here's the patch of carrots. Let me throw another one out here. Here they are. Look at those are normal. And if I wouldn't have deleted that video, it was cool before I cut it up. But those are the carrots because I don't eat California carrots anymore so I guess we'll just go straight through the dissection but you could tell there's one carrot there one carrot there and you're gonna see that this was a conjoined carrot December 19th 2020 and this video is called mutant conjoined carrot And I've always been wanting to eat carrots because I love carrots, but now I'm growing my own, which is very rare. You will not find carrots. It's very hard to find a carrot that's not grown in California. That's what boggles my mind. So now I'm growing my own. All right, here is the variety that I grew it from. This red cord Chantenay. As you can see, it's only supposed to have one carrot, not conjoined. But I blew it too because within that batch, I ended up getting a yellow carrot. I just picked these guys. But I had a yellow one in that. So there was also another mutant, but it was a different color. And here is the cut up destroyed mutant that's what it was supposed to be like here's the regular ones and I also had a yellow one and you'll see when I dissect it 
There's definitely was two carrots in there. So I just guess I gotta learn my lesson next time is I gotta check that record button. Alright, and for the record, I'm not gonna eat this. I'm gonna throw this outside for the deer. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, but I'm not gonna eat this one. I mean, it's genetic blasphemy, isn't it? Isn't it crashing chromosomes? Misguided mitosis? I know it's the mutant garden, but... Are mutants safe to eat? Alright, it's time to operate. There's the end of it. I'm going to start on this end. see where it actually looks like yeah right there you can, uh, not yet I think we'll get more separation as we get further down It looks like there's still, the center is here. But you could definitely see where this is at. It's like right out here. Instead of being that circle. I'm going to go really close here now. There you go. Definitely, it's two. Isn't that wild? There's this, the separate, there's one, and there's the other one. Now I'm going to open this one up right down the middle compare that you could definitely see one's more oval and the other is round a normal one and I'm gonna try eating this one I did a video one time and someone said they hated that I was crunching, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this one. Oh boy, nothing beats a fresh carrot that's not grown from California. This is Ohio grown. Zero herbicides, zero pesticides, zero fertilizer, just straight leaf humus. 
nothing gets better than that and actually I think this is a mutation in itself the, uh, the yellow carrot in that same batch I'm not going to eat this one but definitely <laughs> no, look at that <laughs> look at this it's conjoined two separate carrots that grew as one two hearts beat as one except this isn't normal Bakersfield station monitors radiation March 17 2011 As many Americans brace for the first measurable radiation expected to arrive in United States airspace from Japan on Friday. More than 120 radiation measurement stations across the United States will monitor the strength of the invisible invasion. One of those stations is located on a rooftop right here in Bakersfield. Government and private sector scientists have said the radiation from damaged Japanese nuclear power plants is not expected to arrive at levels that are hazardous to human health. But for Powers, the data he's seeing at the local measurement station is hardly alarming. We're not seeing anything out of the routine here, he said. Radnet data from Bakersfield, California, 2011. Now, if you look at the numbers here, the average looks like it's about like 160 in this column I'm talking about. Now, if you look at, I think it was around March 15th and 16th, Okay, here is March 11th. Now, it took four days. Look at here, like 200s, high 190s, 180s. It takes four days for it to actually come over from Japan. Now, I think if you look at these numbers here, it's, look at 311. Isn't that strange? What a coincidence. On March 15th, it goes up to 311. One of the highest ones is about 371. And then it starts going down into the 200 range. So I think right here is where the plume was hitting Bakersfield between the 15th and the 16th of March. And then if you look the numbers are all going down again. So it was the 15th and 16th of March that it actually hit California. And Bakersfield, you got to remember, look at your carrots and vegetables. That's where almost all your, um, that's the breadbasket of California. That's a high agricultural area. And that's why I do not eat anything out of California anymore. And that's why you got to grow your own. You also got to remember Cesium's got a 30-year half-life, so it's going to take 300 years for it to not disappear, but turn into the daughters and for it to be kaput. So what came down from Fukushima is still in the ground in California, and each time it rains, more gets added. What does cesium decay into? According to semspub.epa.gov, Cesium-137 emits beta particles as it decays to the barium isotope. 